Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> so, good afternoon. My name is François Deserti. I am working with AVL since eight years now. And I am going to, stay, to share the stage with my colleague, Bram, for the next 20 minutes. We will remain available at the AVL booth, which is just over there, uh, until tomorrow evening. Uh, thank you for taking the time to come and listen to us. And thank you also to the organization for giving us the opportunity to, to share our vision and to exchange. So AVL in few figures and some core value. So we are a 75-year-old company. And so you can guess that we have gained a lot of experience and also that we have managed to, to adapt and evolve. And it's fair to say that AVL has contributed to a lot of innovations uh, and contributed to the future. So uh, as you can see, we are invested 12% of our uh, turnover in research and development, which brings to a lot of innovations and patents and uh, currently more than 1,500. Regarding the workforce, we are 11,000 people worldwide in 26 countries and more precisely 93 uh, loca different locations so we are very close to our customers. We are big but we are very agile so this allows us to share a lot of information and to be to add a lot of uh, value to our partner and customer. In France we are 400 people uh, divided in uh, two technical centers, one in Palaiso, one in Crecy, so very, very far, very, not very far from here. But we also have uh, teams directly on, com on customer side anytime it's necessary. So we are not only based uh, near Paris. We, ca we can move uh, close to, to your facilities if needed. And uh, we also have uh, 100 people located in Morocco. So spe also speaking French and English, and who, who are supported us. So we are mainly divided into three divisions and three disciplines, in fact, deployed to all our technology and products. I belong to the engineering division, and I will deal uh, about these topics. And Bral will explain everything regarding simulation technology and test system. For sure, uh, all the en engineering teams uh, can, uh, can utilize our testing system and simulation technology. And it's all, it helps to improve both uh, the, their department and our department. So in France, the, the engineering division is based on Palaiso. And the simulation and test system are based in Croissy. So this is the two tech centers I mentioned just before. And you can see here how we we applied the free discipline uh, to the fuel cell domain, which is covering the cell level uh, to the entire system. So I, I mentioned that we are a 75 year old company. Regarding hydrog hydrogen, we are working on it since 20 years, both in research and development and customer project. Combined with our uh, experience in mobility, of course, it makes us uh, in the, uh, a leading and reliable partner. So as you can see on the top of this slide, for all kinds of transportation, it's mean passenger car, of course, but light duty, trucks, construction vehicle, but also rail, marine. What is significant with the hydrogen technology is that it applies to a lot of uh, other fields. So we are also a partner for everything which is non-related to mobility. Whether you have a, a, a power or heat production topics, or you are working in an industry such as production of chemicals, steel, or refining, but in fact, all industry involved are hydrogen. We are a partner, and we can supply on everything regarding hydrogen, its carrier, or its byproduct. If we have a look a little bit more inside our hydrogen uh, solution, uh, we have definitely two categories. So you have four items on this, on this page, but two categories. On the left side, uh, the hydrogen internal combustion engine and the three remaining items are for fuel cell. 
uh, hydrogen internal engine first. So we are working, since I mentioned it, on it since more than two decades. We had significant improvements over the last uh, few years. It's definitely an interesting solution. There will be some promising outcomes, for sure for large engines in trucks, rail, marine, but also in passenger cars. Regarding fuel cell, so the three other, uh, the three other items. First, so the PEM technology, proton exchange membrane or polymer electrolytic membrane. This technology is already ready in production. There are still a lot of improvements ongoing and that will continue. This is a convenient solution for mobility, all kinds of mobility, and we also have some possible application in stationary topics. Regarding solid oxide technology, so uh, solid oxide technology is relevant for power, heat, or combined power and generation systems, and the technology is also very interesting for electrolyzer to produce e-fuel or hydrogen I mean, for local consumption, but for storage and for transportation. So, as I mentioned, we are supporting all the companies involved in the hydrogen ecosystem. Uh, we are not producing, we will not have factories to produce cell stack or system. We are, we are just helping in the engineering. We will produce few, ex few prototypes for, for, for design and validation phases. So sometimes the stack supplier is already selected by the customer. Yeah. And so we can help in the decision if it's not the case because we have our benchmark data plus our testing facilities. And then you can compare different solutions regarding density, efficiency, lifetime, and then decide what is the most appropriate solution. Regarding the PEM technology, we can offer something in addition because we have our own stack design. We can provide it through a licensing system. So if you want to produce yourself your stack, you can use AVL design. If you want to do any kind of product based on your choice or your supplier, it's also feasible. And again, what is very important is that you see we can, we can provide some support from cell to stack level until system and the entire application in both technologies. This is an example to, to give you uh, an understanding of, uh, of what I mentioned previously regarding our uh, competencies and expertise in vehicle. So you can easily guess that this is a truck. In fact, we have decided to to, to dismantle the, power, the conventional powertrain in an existing truck and to replace it with a fuel cell uh, powertrain entirely based on AVL design. So, as I mentioned, so we use the AVL fuel, fuel cell stack uh, on the left, that you can see on the left stack on the left side for around 300 kilowatts, and everything else in the powertrain is entirely done by AVL. So we have, the, we have selected one e-axle within the range of e-axle we have. Uh, we are also handling the hydrogen storage here with four tanks and also all the battery high voltage system. As we have a deep knowledge in thermal management, we are also building the entire cooling system. And at the end of that, for sure, we handle all the power management of all the components with the best target of efficiency and reliability. So this is a proof, uh, a proof example of the combination of all our, no our knowledge in mobility plus the 20 years of experience we have in fuel cell. Another important achievement in the automotive industry. We are collaborating since, since five years with Toyota, and no need to say that Toyota is a, is a leading position in the fuel cell topic. One of the important results of this cooperation is that we are allowed to promote the Toyota stack technology. So we are allowed to promote it and to support any customers that want to develop this technology within his system. This is something very important because it gives access to a best-in-class solution, as I already mentioned, and you can have access to a very reliable technology, which is 
quite cost effective because in fact Toyota is producing it a lot. So this is the second example of our, of our expenses in the automotive industry. So in the next two slides, you will just you will just see an overview of some of the projects we have. So in, in, in mobility, but not only. This slide is entirely dedicated to Proton Exchange Membrane Solution. You can see from few kilowatts, for example, five kilowatts, to one to five megawatt range uh, in, in many uh, diverse uh, um, topics. It can be marine, it can be stationary application. Of course, it is drone. So if you think your project is not covered by, by this uh, application, don't hesitate to ask us. It's impossible to have everything on, the, uh, on one page. And regarding solid oxide technology, this is some example of our application. So same principle, uh, this is a short overview from five kilowatts to megawatt range uh, for electrolyzer, but also for power to liquid activity, also heat and uh, power generation. So again, if, you're, uh, if your project, if you think your project can match to one of these, or if you have a different request, don't hesitate to ask us. Uh, we will be pleased to, to mention in the next coming weeks a project in the range of 50 megawatts. So here it's, it's mentioned 5 megawatts, and we will mention project about 50 megawatts. So Bram is going now to present everything beside engineering. Uh, Thanks, Francois. So my name is Bram Peters. I'm the responsible business development manager for the um, test solutions. And now I want to give you an overview of our customer-oriented solutions. Uh, so here on this slide, you can see, I would say, the quite range of our different solutions. Uh, so starting on the left side, if you just want to do a single cell or just full stack development, we can provide you um, test solutions in these areas. Then it goes from virtual test bed if you want to do some controller unit testing. Um, then the next step would be that you put the stack together with the BOP, OP components and you want to do a complete fuel cell system test bed. So for this application we will also have test solutions and later I will give you an overview of our modular approach, um, how we handle that. And when it comes to a complete vehicle, um, so we provide also chassis dyno solutions or on the powertrain level. So nearly all applications. This slide is nearly focused on automotive solutions, but as we have seen, we are also doing applications for maritime, for aviation and so on. So this can also be handled um, from AVL. And we have also BOP test solutions or end-of-line solutions when it comes to the production of the stack or the system itself. Um, as mentioned, we start with innovative products. So the product is the basis of all our solutions. So if you need just a kind of component, we can deliver it. Then it will follow up by a complete test system. Or what we are also doing for some customers, we provide a complete test center, so a complete turnkey solution. Um, this is also very available. It depends on just what the customer um, requires. On this slide, it's just to give you an overview about the fuel cell system test bed um, based on the modular approach. So we have for every, I would say, solution, different types of modules. It depends on which kind of technology, PEM technology, solid oxide. So we support all of these technologies. It depends on the size of the stack. Is it light duty application or heavy duty application? And based on that, we can, based on our modular approach, define the best solution for you. So, for example, we can see the uh, combined conditioning supplier measurement unit. This is a combination of four different modules. So we have the hydrogen supply in it. We have the coolant conditioning modules in it and also the low voltage supply. So for customers who don't have, I would say, much space, this is a very easy solution with a very small footprint and very easy for the integration. 
Um, as mentioned, it's not only uh, the complete solution, but it's also based on the components. And AVL delivers very innovative new components. On this slide, on the left side, you can see when it goes to the hydrogen supply. And on the right side, we have the outcome of the fuel cell with the exhaust. Um, the hydrogen AVL Hydron is a um, component for delivering the um, hydrogen to the right pressure and we measure it in a very precise way. Um, on the other thing you can see the gas temperature control unit if you want to condition the hydrogen temperature which goes to the stack. So for example you want to do some certification testing you need just a special temperature. This we can ensure with the gas temperature control. Or on the other side you want to do some stress test or aging um, then you need additional or higher temperatures or want to do some temperature degradations, then you can use the gas temperature control unit which will be um, installed between the hydrogen hydron and the fuel cell itself. We have also a complete new developed tool chain, degradation tool chain for our automation system where you get support um, and information about degradation information. Are you operating the fuel cell in the right way? What does it mean on the lifetime on the stack and so on? So the lot of information for the customer who is operating the test bench. Um, we also have solutions to measure the hydrogen and the exhaust um, with a hydrogen mass spectrometer. Um, which is also very helpful for our customers is the AVLE library. So we have standards or regulations where you can directly load these regulations in the automation system and the complete test will be uh, completely automated running for your fuel cell system. So this just to give you a small overview, we have a lot of additional components. So just came to our booth and we can give you um, an overview of that. Um, now I'm presenting you a kind of reference project. So I mentioned already that we are not only active in the automotive business, but also on the aviation side. And this is a project with the German Aerospace Center um, where we have delivered a complete um, fuel cell solution based on a 1.5 um, megawatt fuel cell in combination with the main components like an e-motor, the storage system, and so on. So based on this solution, um, the customer can test the components on his own or in combination with itself. And you can see in the video, it's a very, it's a containerized solution. So that means the installation was very fast and a very small footprint. So a lot of advantages for the customer to do a very fast ramp up to do the testing. Another reference project is um, in Germany, we have the different technology and innovation centers. So currently four innovation centers which were funded from the German government. And here we are working together with the local network at Harz Wo. They are also participating here. Um, you can visit them also here on the Hivolution. Um, so they want to install the Hydrogen Innovation Center in the eastern part of Germany. It's called the HIC. And we were doing, um, I would say, a test equipment consulting and infrastructure feasibility study. Because based on our experience from engineering side, we have a lot of experience what is really required to do fuel cell testing. And with this knowledge, we support our customers. In this example, the Hydrogen Innovation Center. And on the right side, you see also that the focus for the center is just to do more on research and development for local companies in these areas who want to do um, yeah, hydrogen or fuel cell development. So coming now to the, the last slide, this is just to give you the overview. Um, so we have seen that hydrogen plays a very big role in, a, uh, in the next years to get the carbon-free future. Um, we have seen that the technology is not only in the automotive business, but we see a lot of different applications, uh, rail, aviation, maritime applications, and AVL can support you with all of these applications. Um, we have a lot of experience over two decades in engineering side, the testing side, and also in simulation 
um, testing um, things. So in all of these areas along the complete development chain, we can support you. And therefore, so just come to us if you have questions or if you need support. And uh, as mentioned, our booth is directly located here. Um, so just visit us and ask us. We're happy to uh, visit you, to see you on our booth. Or you can also visit us in Graz on our test center. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, then thank you for your participation.